play. play. Yo, four and if to talk them. Seven, seven, you already know. Question for Katia. Yeah. Right. You ready? Yeah, I'm boring, imagine. Don't know. So, how do you leave football mm -hmm. for this entrepreneurial life? Ah, same. So, that's a tricky question because I have not really left football, but I took a break from it. So, I've always wanted to be a footballer. Uh, right from when I was, I think, as early as four years old. Actually, when I was five, she wanted to be a footballer and a prophet, but I had to let the prophet. <laughs> I had to let the prophecy go, man. I was like five, to be honest. That was actually so always wanted to be a footballer. I, when I was in JS three, I got an offer from Pepsi Academy. Wow. Yeah, and then I showed my dad, and then my dad. Okay, I've never spoken about my football story before, so this is an exclusive. So when I showed my dad, he was like, yeah, you're almost done with secondary school, yeah? so you just get done and then when you're done, yeah. we'll take you to Pepsi Academy or an academy. I was like, okay, well. so I actually struggled my way through senior secondary school. It's not like I'm really in mind. Yeah, it's just that like I had the mindset that oh, well, when I'm done, I'm going to an academy or Pepsi or whatever. So when I was done, I met my dad again, he was like, you're almost at the end, just finished university. Yeah. Genius. So, so yeah. kept on pushing. He you. just kept on pushing me and I was like, okay, since I was going to school in the UK for for university, there was no way I was not going to come out as a footballer. It was sure. Like it was too sure. Do you understand? <laughs> so yeah, I got there and yeah, so that's how that's how I that's where I came from. So yeah. moving into entrepreneurship. Um, I've always had, I've always had the ambition to do my own thing, mm. right? So I had a flair for fashion growing up because my mom was like, she was a seamstress, but now she's more of a fashion designer. Okay. But she was a seamstress back in the day. She was sewing like bridal, oh, okay. bridal girls for people. So you grew up. So I grew up in that world. Yeah, her shop was actually inside the house. So I used to go there sometimes, she tried to teach me how to sew, I was interested. I was interested in the sewing, but I was interested in the whole fashion, fashion and all of that. Yeah. So, slow down, slow down. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going right. too fast. Slow yeah. down, slow. So you said something that when you were in the UK, can uh -huh. you tell us more about when you were in the UK? Like what was the okay. experience? Like football and like trials? Uh, like? I think if I count all the trials that I went for, it cannot be less than 20. Jeez. Yeah, I was in different countries. Di not different. Did I go for any trial in our country? No. I think they were all in the UK. Um, okay, I went. Okay, when I was, I think I went for one in Turkey. In Turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Wow. I did, I did. So I was. It was when I was in the UK. I was going for trials. I was trying to organize videos because I knew that you could get in through trials, but I also knew that there was another way. And where, an extra edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you yeah. could get a video of your I'll, I'll put the videos in this video. Where you could get a video of you playing and then you send it out to agents. Yeah. Via email. So I sent, I would say that I sent at least 500 emails yeah. to agents. So I was going for trials, I was sending emails. I, I eventually got a response from a certified Nigerian agent. I'm going wow. to throw this name. So he wanted to link me up to FC Mets. Okay. In okay. France. I think France. it's in their first division. I don't know if they period. <laughs> but yeah, he, he was yeah. sending me pictures of him going to the meetings and well, yeah, watching yeah, watch. yeah. I was scared but because I got the email directly from FIFA's website. Oh okay. On their website there's actually email of it. So, so I got the email from him. Yes. Okay. And he one of the people actually replied me. So I was like, okay, this is legit. So uh, he was sending me pictures of how he was going to make me be and he has watched my videos, he feels I'm good, blah blah blah. He sent me a picture of the next training ground. I'm sure you could not see it. Yo, I called my dad like, <laughs> I but find so me. coincidentally it was just when I had finished my third year, my university. Yeah. So I just called my dad and he was like, ah, nice one, nice one. I just called him to tell him that okay, he doesn't have to worry about me again. I found it nice. all right. 
and all that. Wow, wow. Yeah, so how that fell through was he, the guy just stopped reaching out to me. <laughs> like, he just stopped. Like, he used to reach out to me every single moment. I was even tired of his calls. Yeah. So I noticed that after two days, he wasn't reaching. So I tried to call him. He wasn't picking. I tried to reach out to I tried to message him, email him, no way. Like, he literally just disappeared. Jeez. You understand? So, till today, I don't know what happened. Wow. So, that was FC Mets. I went for a trial actually in Leicester. Okay. In Leicester's stadium. Yeah. So, they picked me and they wanted me to go to US to play in US. Wow. But the catch was I had to be in school. So you had like to school in the US. Yes. Yeah, so you already get a bachelor's degree. Exactly. Time. So, I'm like, well, what am I? What's the point? So, I was like, okay. I'm going to let this one go. I'm going to try to grind out that. Yeah. So wow. that was after my so I had to come back. And I can assure you, I'm coming back to Nigeria. It was like, I was, any step I took forward, it just took me 10 wow. steps back. Wow. I was trying to apply for this Spanish visa for like five months, no way. Wow. And then, okay, actually, not like no way. It was making headway. But then I met one other agent that said that he actually wanted to help me, that he had seen my video. Yeah. He thinks I'm good that I should. Um, okay, I should send him my videos. I should send it to the same agent thing over again. Over again. I should send it wow. to the agent in the UK that represents him. So I did everything. They were telling me how they carried the wood. They were the ones who were responsible for taking the wood. Did, did, did you research that? I did research, but I couldn't find anything. Wow, scam. Do understand? Scam. Oh, I'm scam. guessing there. So I couldn't find anything. I knew that. And he was asking for some money, and I knew that. Agents who ask for money mm -hmm. don't want to help you. That yes. scam. So, but I was just like, mm -hmm. we're in Nigeria, it might be different. Do you get so? Yeah. I actually gave it, I gave it some some allowance because he was saying that he had links to Newcastle. He showed me everything, so it was like I needed to go play in Italy for for one year. Wow. And then Newcastle signs me as they were that time they were just coming back into the yeah. Premier League. So, so after the one season, yeah. exactly. so everything was mad. So they got. A contract in, um, I think it was with Napoli, but I wasn't going to play in the main team. I was going to be playing in the team B and all that. You know, a lot of Nigerians go to Italy. Yeah. So it was looking all, all nice and, and glossy, and then boom, I just heard that. The guy, he was a scammer. So the guy who was in Nigeria was the scammer, and the guy in the UK was the real guy. Wow. So he just blocked the connection. Okay. And then I joined the Nigerian team, I started playing, it was mad, it was very, very mad because the training was crazy. You, I used to go there at 6 a.m. and come back 11, so training was... Was that after your master's degree? Yeah, that, this is Nigeria now. Okay. So that was, the training was from 6 to 11, that's 5 hours, right? Yes. That's five, yeah, that's 5 hours. Yes. On that hot sun, and the training, like, I think I was even having heart problems at the time. But <laughs> I went there like 2 months every yeah. day every day so we were playing in matches it was good because i was scoring and all that but after some time i was just like man i think i was feeling i think the training was too much because there was no rest it's like that from monday to saturday it's only sunday you rest wow. and then check came about yeah. Yeah. that was that was that was the best one because yeah um so my girlfriend at the time told me about this opportunity in Prague, I was like, mm. what's, what, what can happen in Prague? So I looked at it and it was actually a good opportunity. A yeah. one year program where you just be playing, and then after one year, you're good enough, they yes, pick sir. you into what's this famous club in Sparta Prague? Yes, yeah, and you play in Champions League, so it was, yeah. all, it was all nice. So you're going to be on so, CEO, exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. Wow. exactly. So it was, it was looking very nice, it looked like a good opportunity. So I was actually, I started pushing for it. So I applied for the visa the first time, I got rejected. Normal, everybody gets rejected. I started going again. This was like, I think this was 2017, mid-2017. So I was pushing for the second visa again. I was pushing, pushing, and I think if they reject you, like, okay, when you apply, it takes two months for the visa to come out. Yeah. So, like, I was going to the embassy, they were rejecting me. So I came back. times? I'm getting there now. So I came back, I did all my documents, went again. That was after like five months. They rejected me again. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to go again. You understand? No giving up. I did everything. Just when I thought everything was right, like I was so confident walking into the embassy. As I got there, rejection again. 
So that's three rejections. Okay. Three rejections. Yeah. Three rejections. Yeah. So at that point, at the third rejection, that's when I was like, okay, how old am I now? How you allow me to buy put into it? So I just like okay, exactly the time because all of this span in like two three years. So I'm, I'm coupled with all the time yes, yes, yes. Yes. So I was just like okay, what are the alternatives? So at that point, at that particular point, this was August. This was oh, this year, August this year. At that point, I literally gave up. So I was like okay, football done. I love the sports. I'm a football guy, but I'm not chasing this thing again. So, but on the side though, when since I came to Nigeria, I've been yeah. on this entrepreneurial journey. Yeah, yeah. we're sitting down here, mm -hmm. and we still don't know where we are going. Yeah. But we know that this thing can happen, and if this one happens, yeah, right, yeah, then that's we'll go that's it. I'm telling you, no regrets. You, oh, yeah. you hear people that you love will tell you, "Fam, just do something." Absolutely. So you have to, you have to. Yeah, so that's my little story. That's my little story. Because I think guys, it's a wrap yeah, for today. Yeah, it's a wrap. I'm not feeling emotional. It's a wrap. 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 And you're going to tell your friends about me. And I'm going to make you feel.